Hello beautiful people, good morning crayfish and of course the yogurt matter, matter of it some melo seed this is the egusi this is what we form the egusi soup so guys without wasting time let's get started I'm going to start first by cutting the meat you can see it Salt to wash it. This is hot. I'm going to be setting it aside for some time before washing it properly. So, have washed my stuffed fish. I'm going to be putting it now inside the boiling meat. You can see. You see now there is a lot of water in the meat. I didn't add any water, this is just the water I used in washing it. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding my stock fish. And I'm going to cover. To cook, we're going to wait for some time for the meat to cook because it takes time. So while waiting for the meat, I'm going to blend now my onion and squash on it. And now I'm going to be adding some water. blend my bay pepper and my tomato for me to cut 
So let's take a look at the meat. Let's see my meat is still cooking. But now it's time for me to add the shaggy. Fire is on a low heat because I don't want my onion to get burnt. So I'm going to be waiting for some time for my onion to turn brown. This is the main process of cooking a goosey. This is the most important part. So just look at it carefully. So my onion is brown enough. You can take a look. I'm going to be adding my tomato paste. So I'm going to be stirring it. Now 
Now my tomato paste is well stained. Um, this is my bay pepper and uh, my tomato. I'm going to be so I'm going to stir it thoroughly. Now I'm going to allow this to dry up. I'm going to be covering it so it can dry up. Gradually to my stew. Yep. So, have we done that? I'm going to be covering it to cook for some time on a low heat. At this time, I'm going to be adding some meat stock. I'm going to touch it a little bit like this to see if it's done. It's not done, so you can see the fire is on a low heat, so there is no chance of burning. I'm going to be covering again. At this point, we're going to be adding our meat.
can see guys reduce the heat now soup is still cooking so we are going to leave it to continue cooking while I continue shopping my spinach to add my bitterling At this point, when you feel your egusi is too thick, you can add some water. But for me, leaving it like this. So I'm going to let my spinach cook for some time. Then my soup is almost ready. And here we go. At this point. My egusi soup is ready. It's ready to be served. So, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. God bless you as you do so. Our soup is ready. You can see how beautiful it is. I'm going to be taking one uh, Oh my god Guys, you need to give this soup a try Oh my god mm -mm. It's so delicious, I bet you So thank you so much for watching Till I come your way again For now, bye